Hey, fourth graders, welcome back. So I'm going to get ready to do a trial. Um, I have my setup and you'll see I have like I uh, measured out 100 centimeters. So the cool thing is, yeah, we could go ahead and do distance and time of the marble, but it's OK to set a limit. So if we say how long does it take for the marble to travel to a certain spot like 100 centimeters? I like 100 centimeters. You know why? Because I like zeros. Zeros are cool because like if you're doing any uh, math problems when you have zeros in there, it makes it a lot easier to um, do some calculations. So we I mean, we could let the marble travel um, um, till it stops, but it's OK to, to put a limit on there to make our math and make our space a lot easier because if I'm using six books, the marble might go all the way across the floor um, and go all the way and hit the wall or something like that. So if we put a limit and say, how long does it take it for it to go 100 centimeters? So we know our distance can, we can keep it at 100 centimeters um, and just mark that. And then we can just worry about the time. Um, so that makes things go a lot faster. And that's totally cool. Yeah, we can totally do that as long as everybody follows the same constants. So make sure that you have that in your constants that we're going to go ahead and mark 100 centimeters and we can just time how long it takes it to get to that 100 centimeter mark. Um, and then, wow, we can do very easy calculations with that. Remember, you don't have to memorize the formula for um, speed, but we want you to understand that speed is a relationship between distance and time and you'll be able to see real quick um, how that uh, height of the ramp affects the speed so let me go ahead and share my camera so we can see what's going on there we go you can see i have my setup there i have my book and i have my ruler and way down there at the end, you can see I marked pretty much at the end of the table is um, 100 centimeters. So I also have my timer. So I have my little stopwatch. Uh, you could use a regular stopwatch or um, your iPad or your laptop also has a stopwatch uh, feature. So you can totally use that. The cool thing is I've already marked out 100 centimeters so I don't have to worry about um, the distance you know I don't have to measure it over and over and over again and possibly make a mistake um, so this cuts down on the mistakes I also have my data chart which is on the back side of what we did uh, the other day with our setup so if you need to add anything to the setup you can totally do that which sometimes does happen once you get rolling on the experiment, you realize, oh, we should have done something else. Hmm. So you're going to do four trials and trial one. Uh, also tell what number of books. So what number of books you might be group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, four, group six. Um, and distance, we know it's going to be 100 every time. And then we're going to divide uh, 100 by whatever time in seconds. And um, depending where you are in math, you could round the time because you might get some um, milliseconds on there. So you can do, you could round to the nearest second. I'll let your uh, teacher decide to do that or not. And then we can find the speed. So we can find the speed of trial one, trial two, trial three, trial four. And then the cool thing is we can then find the average speed of your height of the ramp. OK, whether you're one book or six books, but I will do this um, and for you so you can see what that looks like. OK, for one book, I'm only going to do one book. So I am going to have my timer. So I'm going to get my timer ready. And I'm going to go ahead and roll my marble down my ramp. Now here's the other thing. Look at my surface. And do it on the tabletop. If you do it on carpet, um, and you're doing one book, it might not make it 100 centimeters. So that's something you're going to need to talk about. Um, I would definitely want to roll it on a smoother surface because you want to make sure it can even get to 100 centimeters. If you're doing six books, it probably will. Um, so you're all going to have to talk about that. But if you decide to do it on a tabletop or um, a 
a smooth floor, uh, you have to be consistent. Every group has to do that. You can't have one group uh, rolling it on carpet and another group rolling it on um, a tabletop or, or even concrete. So you all have to have the same um, surface, okay? So that's something you're gonna have to talk about. But I'm all set up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll my marble and start my clock. So ready, set, go. Well, look at that. Didn't even, didn't even go. Let's try that again. Ready, set, go. Stop. All right. You can hear the marble rolling on the floor. You could have something there, a little cup or something to catch it. Or if you have a longer table, or maybe you have a nice smooth floor. Um, whatever. So I have my time. So basically 3.73 seconds it took to go um, that far. I could round that to four seconds, which, make, which makes that really easy because 100 divided by four um, will give you my, me my speed centimeters um, per second. So I can actually write that in my chart here. So the distance I know was 100 divided by time. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'll go ahead and round that to four seconds. And my speed would be what? Hmm. 25 centimeters per second. So I put that right in there. 100 divided by four is 25 centimeters per second. What does that tell you? What does that number tell you? What does 25 centimeters per second tell you? That's the big thing. <clears throat> we want you to understand what that means. Okay, talk about that. Centimeters per second. So what does that mean? So then I would do it again. If I follow my rules, I should get about the same every time. Okay, and then obviously group two will have two books <coughs> all the way up to group six with six books. And we will see if, in fact, increasing the height of our uh, ramp, um, what does that do to the speed? OK. All right, guys, so that is how you set up your trials. And I will come back and do a little bit more calculations. I'm going to continue the rest of my trials um, and come back and show you a little video of how to look at my data. OK, and what that one, what all that means. So good work and we will. See you next time, everybody.